Hi class, I'm Matt Fisher, your accounting professor. In today's video, we're gonna go over the units of production method. So we're using the same information. Our value for the asset was the machinery, was $105,000. We have a salvage value of $5,000, but now we're gonna add something else because we don't need the useful life for units of production. We need to know how we're depreciating it. What's that unit we're using? So for machinery, let's say that it's machine hours. We assume that this machine is gonna be useful for, or be able to be used for 400,000 machine hours. So what we do is we take this formula, the price we paid less the salvage value, divided by the total units of production. And in our example, it's 400,000 machine hours. So the price minus the salvage value, gets us 100,000 divided by the 400,000 machine hours gets us 25 cents per machine hour. So there's our rate right there, 25 cents per machine hour, right? So now what we do is we figure out, well, how many hours do we use the machine each year? So let's say in year one, we use the machine 30,000 hours. So if we used it 30,000 hours, we're gonna take 30,000 times the rate, 25 cents per hour, which gets us $7,500. So in the first year, we would depreciate this 7,500. We would debit depreciation expense, 7,500. Credit uh, accumulated depreciation, 7,500. Let's say in year two, so this was year one, in year two, we'll use another example. Let's say we use 50,000 machine hours times 25 cents per hour, gets us 12,500. So then in year two, we would debit depreciation expense, 12,500, and credit accumulated depreciation, 12,500. So it's that simple. You just have to get your rate, 25 cents per hour in our example, and then you use that rate times the number that we had in each, in this case, machine hours, the number of machine hours we had in each year. And this information needs to be given to you in order to calculate your depreciation, accumulate depreciation for each year. Now, this is called the units of production method, and it's a good method you can use for you know, machinery, for cars, it might be, instead of machine hours, miles driven, okay, number of miles, all right? So this is a really good method because it's really monitoring the use of the asset. So we're really decreasing the value based off of the use of that asset. Now, this method is also used uh, for depletion purposes. So previously, in one of the previous videos, we talked about uh, natural resources, coal, ore, timber, uh, oil, things like that. Uh, we often use this units of production type method. We would have the cost less the salvage value of that asset divided by, you know, whatever the natural resource is, you know, if it's, if it's coal, uh, the tons of coal being uh, taken out, okay? How much, how much coal is there and then how much was actually taken out? If it was based off of oil, we would take the price that we paid for that oil field divided by, we would estimate how many barrels of oil we think we're gonna get out of the ground there to come up with a price per barrel. So the units of production can be used for equipment, machinery, um, cars, you know, it can be used for all sorts of assets but it's also the method that we use uh, when we're doing depletion for natural resources. All right, class, I hope this video has helped you. I hope to see you back in future videos. And remember that we have lots of videos, so you can look for all sorts of different subject areas and watch them also.